Welcome to the M300 RTK Tutorials. In this video, you will learn how to use Advanced Dual Operator Mode. The controller that first linked to the aircraft is defined as Controller A. It controls both the aircraft and the gimbal by default. The other controller linked to the aircraft afterwards is defined as Controller B. Ensure Controller A is linked to the aircraft. Turn on the remote controller. Enter remote controller settings and select Controller B in Advanced Dual Operator Mode. Now the remote controller will start linking. Press and hold the power button on the top of the aircraft for 5 seconds until the power button indicator blinks. The controller B is successfully linked to the aircraft when it starts beeping. You can switch between flight modes or gimbal control modes in stick mode. Only one remote controller can control both the aircraft and gimbal. Enter FPV Camera View. Tap the control icon on the top left to seize aircraft flight control. Tap the icon for a few seconds. You can lock the aircraft flight control for the remote controller. In this case, the other remote controller will not be able to control the aircraft. Tap the icon again for a few seconds, and you can unlock the aircraft flight control. When controller A is disconnected to the aircraft during flight, the aircraft will hover in place, and a connection prompt will appear on controller B. Tap Obtain Aircraft Flight Control to allow controller B to control the aircraft. Now you can control gimbal angles with gimbal dial and flight with control stick on controller B. When controller A reconnects with the aircraft, it cannot regain the aircraft flight control by default. However, you can manually obtain the aircraft flight control for controller A. When controller A is disconnected to the aircraft and you don't tap Obtain Aircraft Flight Control on controller B within the given time, the aircraft will trigger Return to Home automatically. In this case, once controller A reconnects to the aircraft, it will resume the aircraft flight control. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button if this tutorial was helpful. If you need any support with your DJI gear, feel free to contact us via Facebook Messenger by following the link in the description. Thank you for watching.